So today I got something in the mail that, that I've been wanting to get for a while. Now it's nothing really special, just got this for my birthday and uh, it's gonna be a great, great addition to my setup. So basically I just bought a new um, a new keyword and uh, it was rated pretty much one of the best keywords um, under $50, which is true. Uh, well, I'm gonna say if it's true. Anyway, so let's get to that. I am actually pretty excited because I've been wanting to get this keyword for a while. I keep it on, on the watch list for a few weeks or I would say a few months actually. Um, and I was just really getting the, uh, waiting for the opportunity to get it. Now this is not an expensive uh, keyword. You can get it really cheap online. Uh, like I said, it, it was listed by TechSource uh, as a good a keyboard for under 50 bucks. So this is a gaming keyword. Now the only reason I get gaming peripherals for my setup it's because they are just really cool looking. Pretty much they are they have really cool stuff. So man even the box it's like really cool quality. And you guys are gonna get to see it with me right here. But here it is. And one of the reasons I got this keyboard it's because it's black and blue. Now a lot of uh, a lot of gaming keyboards have the option to to change the color of the keys, or there are what's it called uh, RGB um, keyboards. So let me put that closer to you guys. This is so cool. But the reason I got this one, the reason I was sold out, it's because I um, pretty much uh, wanted a blue and black keyboard. So let me bring you guys together so we can open this as on this. Okay, I actually like the packaging already. It looks really high quality, you know, it doesn't look cheap at all. Now, I got this for $30 and um, it usually go for a little more, but I got this on eBay for $30. Uh, I'll probably give you guys a link in the description, but I'm not sure if the seller is still going to have them. I actually bought two of those, one for me for, and one for my co-workers. Now, let's uh, put it so you guys can see it, but I think we open it from this side over here. And uh, we're gonna see what's in the box. So nice packaging already. This is actually pretty cool, look at that. That looks, that looks pretty high end. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That looks pretty high end. And I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see. There you go. So one of the things I like about the keyboard besides the color, it's that it comes with our arm, um, with the um, wrist rest. And uh, it's just plastic. It looks, doesn't look really bad. But that's one of the cool features about this keyboard. One of the things kind of sold me out on it is the wrist rest. And uh, it's just plastic. But it looks good, it looks good. I'm gonna put that over here. And we're gonna set that up, put that on my setup, see how it looks. Um, actually, I'll show you that I'll show you that in a bit, but we're just gonna get rid of this. And uh, this is a wire keyboard. Um, I was actually expecting a keyboard that that had a braided USB cable. It's a USB, uh, a USB um, keyword, but it's fine, you know, I, it's, it's fine. I was really hoping for a braided um, cable, but we got some troubleshooting, trouble. Got some uh, contact information over here from the, uh, from the manufacturer and the keyboard itself, man. This thing is, uh oh, uh oh. Something just went inside of the keyboard. I got it. Anyway, so this is the keyboard. And um, it looks really nice. It feels really sturdy, it feels really cool. This knob, man. I was really conf really looking for forward to use this knob. So, I'm gonna set it up. Um, one of the things I'm a little afraid of is these little clips on the uh, these things right here, if my camera ever focuses. Anyways, these things right here. I don't think the camera's ever gonna focus, but these things right here, I'm a little afraid of them. They're flexible, but I feel like if they were gonna break. Now, the keyboard does feel pretty sturdy. I'll, I'm gonna cut right now, and we're gonna set it up. So this is how it looks with the, um, with the wrist rest. It looks like a really nice keyboard. Let's get, let's get it, let's get it set up. Before, uh, before I bought that, Nice keyboard. I, I'm, I was using this Logitech right here. This is, uh, I'm not sure of the, uh, uh, it's a Logitech 
K3060 actually. So it's, it's a really nice keyboard. It's a, it's a wireless keyboard, so it's a Bluetooth keyboard, which works really nice. You can bond, bundle with this nice mouse over here. But um, I was really looking forward to buying another keyboard just because, you know, it's nice to have it. I really like that this keyboard offers the media controls. That's something that keyboard over there doesn't have. But still, it doesn't really matter because that one's nice to look in, look in. And it offers backlit lighting, which is really cool. We're gonna set it up right now. Now, as you can see right here, guys, this is actually a really cool play, um, mouse mat that my wife got me for my birthday as well. And I really love it because it just goes well with the setup. And it's uh, pretty much uh, something that I really wanted to have as well. Something that something that I got a while ago is this gaming mouse. It's uh, It was really, really cheap gaming mouse. The only reason I got this is because it just comes in really handy when it comes to browsing. Now, I don't do a lot of uh, PC gaming, uh, and if I do, I use a, a, an Xbox controller, but um, but this mouse works really good and there's no complaint about it. Now, one of the problems I'm gonna be having is gonna be the wires because my laptop's over here, and I will give you a full set of full, um, sorry, I will give you a full, pretty much uh, tour of my setup, but this is it for now. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the problems that I'm gonna be having with this setup right now. I'm gonna have to pass the cables through the back. And I actually did do some cable management earlier in the month, or last month, and it worked pretty well. But this mouse does offer um, a braided cable and pretty much LED lighting with different DPI modes which is uh, really, really useful when it comes to uh, to playing video games, but also when it comes to designing. Now, for the moment of truth, here's the keyboard. And uh, we're gonna get rid of this. For now, I'm just gonna run the cable to the back and uh, connect to my laptop. Now, I will be getting a different, uh, I'm gonna get a graphics amplifier soon. Uh, and that also actually works as, as a USB hub. And uh, there it is, man. This keyboard looks so awesome. I think it does offer some legs over here on the back. Yep. You can raise the height. And it just looks great. There you go, guys. The Atsio Levitron L70. And it sounds great. You see, the volume works perfectly. It's so responsive as well. You guys can't see it, but it does work. Um, I, it, I do believe that it has three modes. It only has blue, and this is the reason I bought this keyboard. But you can turn it on, and it has, I think, I believe, I thought it had more than, uh, more than one brightness, but as I can see right here, it doesn't. But I really like the, the blue lights on the side, and I really like the knob, and I really like the Atsy lighting up, and pretty much that is backlit. This is one of the cool things about this keyboard. It was $30 only, but it's well made. It looks pretty sturdy. It's all plastic, but still it's not bad. It seems like pretty comfortable to type on. I do like that it has a Windows uh, key lock, which is really useful for whenever you're playing video games. It actually does come in handy, and just pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay posted for the next video, and bye-bye.